Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Crypto Baron, and welcome to the very first episode of the Crypto Times. In this episode, we are going to cover the Bitcoin Civil War, proof of stake, how to stake your PIVX wallet walkthrough, and uh, let's get started. So, NEM has been on fire this year and last year, and it's a really interesting project between its design and unique code, but we're going to talk about NEM in more depth in another episode. I'm also really bullish on Zcash and think it's got some great support, but we're going to save that for another day too. Now we can see that Bitcoin's starting to rebound from its current issues uh, caused by the civil war between Core and Unlimited. I don't want to touch on any particular favoritism because deep down I only know my ideas of other people's ideas and I'm in favor of letting this play out naturally and letting the free market decide because isn't that what this community is really all about anyway. Now that being said, I side with Vinny Lingham who suggested activating SegWit now and set a conditional price to be reached at a conditional date and if it's not reached, it's BU's time and they can even whisper I told you so into our ears while they bend us over to hard fork us all night long. So what could be the optimal scaling solution? Our top Coindesk article today follows an MIT professor's new proof-of-stake Algorand algorithm, which quite frankly sounds a lot like the system currently being employed by PIVX. Now how does proof-of-stake work? Because mathematics. Now unless you want me to fumble through a likely wrong explanation of Byzantine fault, fault, fault tolerance mechanisms, stop asking questions that neither you nor I will understand the answer to. So enter PIVX. If you're involved in the crypto community, you probably started to hear a lot about it. And despite how explosive it's already been, as you can see, there's this unique specialness to this project that's really poised to explode. Now, private, instant, verified transactions built on Bitcoin Core with the benefits of Dash and a functioning sharing proof of stake. You can head to pivx.org to download a free wallet and find a supporting exchange to purchase your pivx. I personally use Bittrex and have had nothing but positive experiences, though probably a little too much email spam. And we've seen the explosion of Dash to a $750 million market cap. Now here's a quick comparison of how pivx is functionally superior in just about every single way. And by the way, if you're keeping score, if PIVX reached Dash's valuation, it'd be a 7,500% return on your investment. And once your wallet is set up and you've bought some PIVX, you can find your receiving funds address right up here. And now you want to go encrypt your wallet. Mine's grayed out, but that's only because I've already done it. So, uh make sure this is a very important step. Now once you have done that, now it's time to open your config file using notepad to set it to stake. Now for some people just editing the file to say staking equals one seems to work, but for others the process is a tad more complex. I placed that code down in the description below. Now for ten and a half you just have to unlock your wallet Just unlock wallet there. Now go ahead and enter your passphrase. And also make sure that you check for anonymization and staking only. Lastly, here in the bottom right, you can check to see if you're staking. A backlit green arrow says yes, and now if not, make sure the lock shows that you're unlocked and the other steps were done properly. And that's it for our first show, guys. There are tip addresses for different coins in the description below. Which coins get the most donations will get the most focus of the show. So let me know what you want me to be covering, and thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. Look forward to talking to you soon.